Okay, so first off, you want to clean your gun and parts. Uh, tape off the inside of the gun and the ends of the scope, if you have a scope. And for the barrel and feed neck, I just stuffed it with paper towel, and it worked very well. Uh, All together, I used uh, tan, brown, and green Krylon camo spray, and followed it up with clear satin acrylic spray. Uh, for the first coat, all right, tan is going to be our base, all right, and we did two coats of that. Just fast forward through that. Uh, to coat number two, I used brown. And what I did is I took cardboard and I made a cut in the middle. And this is the only stencil I used. All right, so try to keep it all in the same direction when you do your spraying. And otherwise, it's a confusing camo pattern and it kind of just looks ugly. I did two guns. The first gun was kind of like my uh, tester, and I went a couple different ways with the pattern and it's not terrible, it's just not as good as the second one in my opinion. And for coat number three, I did a very light spray of green. All right, the green just makes it look dirty and worn and it darkens up the tan a little bit. For coat number four, uh, very light spray of tan again. All right, this is to lighten up the brown pattern lines that we made and just helps blend everything together. We are going to go back over our brown lines with brown again. All right, and what we don't want to do is spray perfectly on those lines. We're not trying to re-darken those lines. What we're trying to do is we're going to spray a little bit off to the side uh, or, or just half of the line. It just gives it more contrast, uh, another shade of brown, except it's the same spray, but it just makes it look more together. All right, and lastly, it's just two coats of acrylic and then you just let it dry. Alright, and this is the end product. Uh, I wrapped the front with twine and then sprayed just a tad of the brown, but that's it. And uh, let me know what you think.